features GTA 6 will have from GTA 6 League. Let's go to the video. Let's summarize everything we know about GTA 6 so far. And okay. Dive into a list of 50 things you can do in the Miami. Game. First up, we have the instant character switch. Remember I mean, that's the obvious wait though. times in GTA 5 when switching between characters? Well, those days are over. In GTA 6, you'll be able to seamlessly switch between characters in a split second. I oh, think really? this feature will add a whole new dynamic to the gameplay. Don't okay. you? Okay. I mean, of yeah. Changers, let's consider the shared inventory system. This means that items you pick up can be shared among characters. Each character will have their own inventory as well as a shared one. This will add a layer of strategy to the game as you'll need to decide which items to share and which okay. to keep for individual characters. Uh, On the topic of right. inventory, there's another feature that's worth mentioning. Your inventory will be neatly organized into categories such as weapons, equipment, and gear. This is a feature that I personally I mean, I like Red it, Dead Redemption uh, 2. I mean, for me, I liked it all in one thing. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm just keep it real. Managing your inventory so I mean, obviously, easier. you can have more, but I like the subject of weapons. There's an important change in GTA 6 that you should know about. What? In GTA 6, we have weapon loadout limitations. You'll have a limited carrying capacity of four weapons. You can equip two small firearms or melee weapons and four two weapons. That's it. Oh no, I don't like that. Like rocket launchers and machine guns will occupy two slots. This is going no, to be a whole about my new unlimited, level of strategic uh, decision back pocket. to your arsenal. What do you guys think about this? Do you prefer the freedom to carry as many weapons yes. as you want? Or yes. do you like the idea of having to choose your loadout carefully? But what if you need to carry more items? Well, GTA 6 has a solution for that. You'll be able to expand your carrying capacity by carrying a duffel bag. This will allow you to carry more items and be prepared uh, for any situation. Okay. I think this is a great addition as yeah? it adds a layer of realism to the game. After all, you can't realistically carry an arsenal of weapons and I mean, a ton yeah, of but don't forget that it's a video bag, game. Right? <laughs> Another feature that adds to the realism of the game is weapon interactions. In GTA 6, you'll have more control over your arsenal. You'll be able yeah. to pick up and drop weapons at will, allowing you to adapt to the ever-changing circumstances of your criminal activities. Okay. I think this will make the gameplay more dynamic and immersive. All right. Feature Are they bringing I'm bowling back or fishing? Is enhanced perception. With this feature, you'll be able to uncover hidden treasures using Eagle Eye, which highlights objects of interest or vital clues. This is a feature they put that Call I love in, in this game. Redemption I like series, it, and I'm excited to see how it will be implemented in GTA 6. But what about when the sun goes down and you're left in the dark? GTA 6 has you covered. No more blindly stumbling through dark alleys or buildings. With a functional flashlight, they give you a flashlight. Navigate through dark environments with ease. This small but significant feature will That's add to like the realism that. of the game. I like that. Speaking of realism, let's discuss the resourceful inventory. Your inventory becomes a versatile hub as you carry items such as wine, fruit, and soda. These items will serve as a valuable That's source health. to replenish your health. Yeah, when okay. I'm I obviously. Think this is a great addition as it adds a layer of strategy to the game. You'll need to decide when to use these okay, items so, uh, and when to. This is true, later. right? But what happens when you get injured? Developers has thought of that too. In GTA 6, you'll be able to carry first aid kits, trauma kits, and prescription pills. That's this will allow fire. you to address injuries. That's actually pretty fire. I can't lie. Resilience. I think this is a but fantastic I, I, addition. But if this is true, I get the whole premise of GTA 6. If this is what true. What do you guys think? And if you thought that was all, wait until you hear about the extensive looting. You'll be able to explore a vast range of locations and individuals for valuable loot. The world of GTA 6 That's offers actually pretty useful array of opportunities to scavenge and acquire valuable resources that's this pretty fire it's like more gases and stuff like that yeah and discovery to the game but it's not just about what you can do it's also about who you meet along the way you'll be able to interact with npcs in various ways you'll have the choice to greet them amicably engage in a robbery or unleash a melee attack i think this will make the game engage, more dynamic and, wait and you can actually it's rob them interesting to see how different you, you, NPCs like, honestly you usually you just like kill the person and just take their money interactions let's talk about advanced vehicle hijacking okay. advanced vehicle hijacking is going <clears> to revolutionize the way we seize control of vehicles in gta 6 with methods like immobilizer bypass and the infamous Slim Jim tool, you'll be unlocking and taking over vehicles with precision and finesse. This is a feature I'm particularly excited about. Okay. But it's not just about the vehicles. There's a darker side to the game that's worth Hi discussing. Oh, handling, handling bodies. bodies is a feature that adds a chilling layer of realism to the game. In GTA 6, you'll have the ability to carry and transport bodies. This is a feature that I think will I mean, add a I wouldn't really say that. I feel like that's just common sense. Game. It's going to be interesting to see how this feature will be implemented and how it will affect the but gameplay. But he's saying a lot of things that I'm going to I'm going to say at the end of the video. Make sure you guys stick stick around the end of the video. Humor to the game. 
Throwing cans at unsuspecting NPCs throwing is a quirky feature that's sure to bring a smile to your face. It's these little touches of humor that make the GTA series so enjoyable. I'm sure most of you remember <laughs> the ability to pick up random objects in GTA. I never 4, picked up cans in GTA 4. I'm gonna be real. Games. There are serious consequences to your actions. You'll have the option to surrender yourself to the authorities. This is a feature that I think will add a whole new level of realism to the game, because in GTA 5 we had to install mods to do such things. And speaking of law you can actually go to jail. Let's talk about police pat downs. In GTA 6, the police will be able to conduct comprehensive pat downs on your character. That's this lame. Will definitely make the interactions with the police more dynamic. No. Moving on to a feature that no, will add a no. new level of strategy. No. No. What did they take the my game. stuff? In GTA 6, you'll be able to assume a prone position. This will allow for tactical maneuvering and stealthy approaches. I think this is a fantastic addition. I think yeah, I think so. I can't lie. The gameplay. The game's graphics I don't like that police one though. Upgrade. What? We'll have enhanced clothing detail. Your character's attire will showcase intricate details such as realistic wrinkles, dirt, and sweat. I think this is a great addition, as it will make the characters I mean, look they already had that in GTA 5. And speaking of appearance, let's talk about dynamic reactions. NPCs will react to your appearance oh and cleanliness. The level of cleanliness you maintain will influence the responses oh and interactions of the characters around you. I can't wait to see how different NPCs oh my, react that man's to your lit up. on their appearance. And there's another feature that allows you to express your style. Oh hat my. styling is a fun addition to GTA 6. Hat You'll be styling? able to wear your hat in various positions, allowing you to showcase your personal style. This is a small but significant feature that will make your yeah, but say it, that's unique. a very small Going feature. Further, it's not really in GTA 6. You'll be able to explore the bustling cityscape in a whole new way by hopping on the metro train. I think that's actually pretty fire. Addition, that's pretty fire. I like that. Mode of transportation I like that. And a new way to explore the city. I like that. And speaking of exploration, let's talk about car customization. We have some exciting news for car enthusiasts. I mean, in bro, GTA it's in Miami, 6, bro. You got you got to ride with style, bro. Options. You got to ride with from style in Miami, bro. Come on, bro. Performance enhancements. You'll be able to take your ride to the next level and stand out from the crowd in style. GTA 5 already has a pretty decent variety of customization options. They do, yeah. But there's always room for improvement. Next, we have easy scores. In GTA 6, you'll be able to target easy scores like food trucks, clothing stores, and pawn shops for quick cash. But beware, not all scores are as easy as they seem. I think this is a great addition, yeah. as it will make the gameplay more engaging. Now let's talk about cop traps. Cop In traps. GTA 6, you'll encounter cunning cop traps strategically placed throughout the city. This is a feature that I think is a must-have, because GTA series still lacks of intensive police chases. But it's not all about the nah, city. Nah, but that can There's get irritating the though. Road. Being on the run in a camper van will add a new layer of strategy and immersion to the game. You'll be able to evade the law while plotting your next move. This well, is if you have cop traps, you won't be able to really evade the law. To. And speaking of fun, let's talk about bubblegum machines. Bubblegum machines scattered throughout the city will add a touch of whimsy to the game. This is a fun and quirky feature that I think will add a touch of humor <laughs> Bro, why does bubblegum like uh, Next, Reese Puffs? we have solving mysteries. In GTA 6, you'll be able to embark on quests to find missing people. This is a feature that I think will add a whole new Super level Mario of Bros. depth reference. and immersion okay. to the game. But it's not just about the mysteries. I There's mean, that's just Rockstar the doing them. Destruction. The arsenal huh? of destruction in GTA 6 is impressive. With an extensive array of weapons ranging from pistols and shotguns oh to heavy God, artillery, you'll have the right tools for any situation. This comprehensive <laughs> list of firepower ensures that the gameplay will be exciting and intense. Moving on, you'll be able to equip yourself with an assortment of tools that will aid you in your criminal exploits. From lockpicks to hacking devices, what game is this? this evolving list of tools promises versatility oh, as you navigate diverse challenges that lie ahead. Next, we have social media. GTA 5 already features parodies of Facebook and Twitter called <laughs> Life Invader and Bleeder. Yeah, Life and Invader. in GTA 6, you'll be able to engage with another social media platform known as WhatUp, a clever spin on the popular messaging app WhatsApp. Now let's talk about the really? wind boat. In GTA 6, you'll be able to take to the water in style and experience the thrill of riding a wind boat. I think this is a fantastic addition. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I, I really don't. Mode of transportation I really never like really cared about the, the wind boat, boat, if I'm being Next, real. Next, we have aquatic exploration. In GTA 6, this is you'll interesting. be able to swim, surf, and scuba dive, allowing you to delve into hidden underwater treasures, uncover secret locations, and navigate this is what I'm interested underwater in. environments. I'm really excited about all these features, but what I, we also yeah. need to make it even better is the realistic physics. Realistic physics in GTA 6 Bro, will make I've seen the a game video. more realistic and immersive. The return to the ragdoll effect, reminiscent of GTA 4, where the laws of physics take center stage, is a great addition that I've I'm seen really uh, the video of the water to. physics, bro. Moving it's forward, crazy. We have backyard wrestling. 
In GTA 6, oh my you'll god, he's getting jumped. Wild he's literally getting molly whopped right now. the environment and improvised weapons. I think this is a fun and exciting feature that will add a touch of chaos and unpredictability to the game. <laughs> now, let's talk about outsmarting surveillance. In GTA 6, you'll be able to strategically eliminate video surveillance oh. to ensure your criminal activities go I don't like this one. Next, we have the ability to work out and build muscle. Nice. In GTA 6, you'll be able to sculpt your physique and transform nice. your Nice. That's I like that. I, I love that feature. this is a fantastic addition as it will allow you to customize your character in a whole new way and it's a great comeback of the feature from gta san andreas yeah another feature which is making I love a that comeback feature. is that you'll be able to engage in rigorous training i'm surprised they didn't do this for uh for gta 5 bro and they had a uh, muscle a beach addition, as well as it will add a new layer and, uh, of immersion uh, um, to the game which was obviously in gta 5. los santo was, was a complete copy of, uh, in GTA of los 6, angeles you'll be thank you fishing thank you god of the criminal life and embrace the serenity of but yeah obviously los santos and los angeles was like a complete copy of each other bro they had the muscle beach new way they had uh they had the basketball gears, course they had everything bro miscellaneous weapons in GTA 5, we were able to use golf clubs, baseball bats, and even golf balls as unconventional weapons. I think this is a fun, but hopefully GTA 6 will allow us to use even more interesting items to fight. Now let's talk about rabid dogs. In GTA 6, you'll need to navigate the streets with caution as you may come face to face with a ferocious That's and rabid lame. dog. That's it kind lame. of reminds me of dogs attacking us in GTA 5, but I'm pretty convinced that Rockstar will expand this feature. It would be interesting to get like rabies that, from a dog, causing us to either quickly go for medicine or die. Next, like we have that. robbers. In GTA 6, you'll need to keep a watchful eye as you explore the bustling streets as there is a chance of being targeted by robbers. It's like an that. interesting addition, which I think I have never seen Yo, in I wonder GTA we can, games I wonder if like, we can do like drug deals, bro, of like, you know, to the game. of the white Moving stuff. On, you'll be you able know, to experience the drug deals. It is Miami. GTA 6. <laughs> it is Another Miami, so hopefully we know we can do drug San deals. Andreas as you'll be able to own multiple safe houses across the vast map. I think this is a fantastic That's pretty fire. I mean, they already had that in GTA, I really though. missed in GTA 5. Going the further, GTA 5, we have enhanced drive-bys. In GTA 6, passengers will have an increased ability to engage Oh in my combat. god, flip that man's car over. should be able to lean over. out the window with weapon in hand and more. Now, the dynamic relationships. I'm not sure how the Jason and Lucia relationship is that is Kevin Gates? in GTA 6, <laughs> But there were rumors that you'll be able to delve into the complex web of relationships with a really? dynamic system akin to the iconic girlfriend progress in San Andreas. Next, really? we have a possibility That's of getting fire. banned from stores. In GTA That's 6, lame. if you engage no. in illicit activities, no. you may find yourself banned from stores, including supermarkets no. and liquor stores. It kind of makes sense, right? Moving on, you'll be able to stuff bodies in your car's Okay, trunk. I like this. This is a feature that I think will add a whole new level of realism <laughs> and immersion to the game. It's the going guy to be got interesting the to see him, how this feature will be implemented and how it will affect the gameplay. Another feature is pawning items for cash. In GTA this 6, this is smart. I like this. The pawn shop building. I like this. So probably you'll be able to discover hidden treasures Who scattered that? throughout in the, the court? city and turn them into cold hard cash at Hello? local pawn shops. I think this is a great addition, as there's never enough new ways to make money in the game. True, now, I like that. Let's talk about the untamed wilderness. As Sharks. probably all of you already know, GTA 6 will take place in Vice City, the fictional Miami, and you'll mm. be able to explore the swamps where fearsome oh, alligators yeah, live, and the, the yep. dense forests alligators by majestic bears. Next, we they have, have sharks in uh, similarly to GTA they have 5. sharks in GTA 6 in the Pacific Ocean. That's why, that's, 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 that's why I said the sharks. And immerse yourself. But yeah, those crocodiles would be go crazy. I'm curious how many of you happen to play casual golf in GTA 5. Let me know in the comments. Finally, we have the Florida Man. In GTA 6, you'll be able to embrace the chaotic spirit of a true Florida man and dive headfirst into bizarre and unconventional situations. I think this is a fantastic addition because this game should definitely reflect the vibe of the location it is based on. Yeah. And there you have it, guys. Florida is just Those a crazy place. You can Shout out to this guy uh, for this video. All right, let me get my take on this, okay? My thing is all the features that he mentioned, right, are um, every time he, you know, that he said something. Or I just thought about this, you know, like just even before, but he literally just proved my point that um, that that Rockstar is going for realism. They're trying to make the game as real as possible. Now, if I'm being honest, I mean, that's a good thing, but that, that can also be a bad thing because the bad thing could be, okay, it's not a video game anymore. It's not fun anymore. You know, because obviously in real life, you know, well, I, you know, I don't, I don't say this from experience. You know, I don't go around in stores, you know, shoot people and take their money. But uh, obviously in real life, you know, whenever like you're robbing a place, you know, obviously, you know, you got to watch for surveillance or, you know, it, it just common sense stuff. You know, you don't just walk into a robbery 
with the mask off, you know, and no, you, you know, you have a mask on, you look for surveillance, you know, you try to hide from the camera, and then, you know, you do you, and then get away. Uh, well, I know that's probably not, oh, well, actually, well, actually, this is how you actually had to rob a store. First of all, I don't, again, I don't have the ex experience of robbing a store, but, you know, common sense says, you know, people wear a mask, common sense says, you know, people don't look at the camera, or whatever, but, um, but obviously in GTA 5, you know, you can literally walk up inside of a, uh, uh, what is it, 7-Eleven or a 724 or whatever those little stores was called in GTA 5. You can walk into that little store with no mask on, you know, uh, order order the uh, the clerk to give you the money. He gives you the money, blah, blah, blah. He or she gives you the money and you dip. And then you just, uh, run, you know, drive away from the cops, you know, try to uh, try to um, lose the cops. You know, that's just like the, like, you know, the uh, like the GTA 5 way or the GTA way, you know, just in general. Um, but now, you know, obviously they're trying to make the game as real as possible, you know, which is, again, which is a really good thing, bro. If you want to talk about a lot of people, you know, relate to realism. A lot of people, you know, relate to, uh, I don't know how natural life is. This is why, you know, this is why in my opinion, GTA, you know, the whole series is, is a uh, success because how in real life it is, you know, uh, for example, and, you know, in San Andreas, they had a lot of, you know, everything in that game was, uh, gang related. In, 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 uh, in GTA 5, you know, you had the three characters that came from different backgrounds that you would see in real life, you know. You had the street kid, you know, the or the hood kid. You had the, you know, the the, the rich, the the rich wise dude, right? You know, that, that did some stuff in the past, whatever. But now, you know, I mean, he's still doing those things. But, like, you know, he's, he's much older. He knows more, etc. And then you have the, you know, the, I guess, the country dude, you know. not Well, not the country dude, but, like, well, yeah, you have, like, the country dude, the dirty dude. No, no offense to all the country people. I'm sorry. That's just, like, for example, for, for the game. But, like, you know, you, you have those characters, that, you know, that you will see in real life. Obviously, you know, you, you won't see nobody as ugly as, you know, Trevor. But at the same time, you know, you will, you will relate to... I, in my opinion, I related to uh, Franklin way more. I related to him way more. Uh, you know, him living with his auntie and stuff like that. Oh, I just spit everywhere. Ew. Him living with him living with, uh, with his auntie, you know, him just trying to make it, him just trying to get some money and just, you know, leave so he can, like, you know, get his own stuff. I respect that a lot. You know, I relate to that a lot. Um, and, different, and different people might relate to, you know, Michael, Trevor. It is what it is. But the reason GTA has became so successful since San Andreas was, is, it was be... It, like it was like the real like the like the realism like the feeling like it was like okay this happens in real life this gang actually mix you know mess with that gang in real life you know it, it was real it was real that's why people liked it you know so i feel like i mean obviously gta 6 is going to be a success let's keep it real but at the same time though it might become a problem because it's not a game anymore you know it's not you, you really have to and honestly some people like that some people like the challenge of okay well i can't just walk them to I, I can't just walk them to a store you know, and Rob, I actually got to, you know, look out for the cameras, knock out the cameras first. You know, I got, I got, I, you know, I got to play a little hitman before, you know, I walk into a gas station and rob the gas station. When in reality, well, not reality, well, in, uh, but, you know, in GTA 5, you know, you just walk up into a gas station, shoot the clerk, you know, or, you know, try to force the clerk to give you the money and just dip, you know. But uh, some people might like it. Some people might might not like it. You know, it's really just uh, a preference thing. For me, I don't want to have to deal with surveillance every time I walk into a 7-Eleven in GTA. I'm sorry. It, it, but that's me, though. But that's me. Some people, they like that. Some people like the extra challenge and stuff like that. Another thing with the uh, with the cop the the cop traps, right, where, where cops would literally just be, like, sitting. I mean, honestly, that's in real life, too. You would uh, drive around and just see cops laying low, bro. Lay, like invisible swear to god invisible like bro you would be you'll be driving down the street right and honestly the cops has caught a lot of people doing this you know some people might you know you know have a fast car speed down you know speed down the street cop right behind him you didn't even you didn't even know he was in a cut right there you didn't even know the cop was in a cut in between these trees like bro how wait how did your car fit between yeah i know these cops bro, would be sneaky in real life so yeah i understand like the whole message of like you know uh, of trying to be real, but at the end of the day, it could, you know, there's like a small chance that it could, uh, be too, like, you know, too, too real, uh, in a fact of like, bro, nobody like wants to go through that. Remember, you gotta like, it, it's a game. It's a game. You know, I, I still, I want it to be real, but I don't want it to be too real to the point to where it's unplayable. If that makes sense. You know, but I know GTA six won't do that. I know they won't do that, but, um, hopefully, I mean, listen, we are in Vice City. We are in Miami. Hopefully, you know, we could, you know, you know, they can, like, you know, we can, like, make a, you know, 
a few money. Because honestly, bro, when I get online, bro, right? First of all, I'm doing the story mode first. We, let's be real. Bro, but when I get online, bro, in GTA 6, bro, I'm doing straight, uh, straight, uh, you know, C-O-K-E. Yeah, I'm doing those deals. Yeah. Because that's where the money at. That's when, the, bro, they, we going to have all types of, of drug dealers, cartels. Yeah, it's, it's Vice City. Yeah, it's, it's, it's G, yeah, it's Miami. I know all type, yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, what you want to? It, 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 yeah, it, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm about to make millions just from just from selling the just from selling the seas, <laughs> just from selling the, the 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 white stuff. Yeah, I just said it. <laughs> I said it. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, sh again, shout out to this guy. Never react to the channel. Make sure you guys go subscribe to his channel. Go make sure you guys go uh go watch the video by yourself. You know what? I'm my ugly mug. Uh, link in the description down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later for next time I'm out and.